Okay, this is the low pressure side. Uh, this is the Delphi injection pump again. I'm going to upload this in several pieces. Uh, if I push this video through an encoder, it's just going to ruin things. So, yeah, this is the Kia K2700 or 2900 and Hyundai Terracan common rail diesel pump that's been putting metallic debris into uh, injection systems. If you haven't watched part one, you should be doing that first. Oh, okay, here we go. This is where we might find some debris. Looks like a primary pump. Don't fall out. There's some light score marks on this little vein pump. It's multi stage. Uh. No, there's a main bear main shaft bearing in the front there, but apart from that, that's about it. Those little springs down there are supposed to go behind two of these veins. But there is. Oh, there we go. Jeez, if that's all it is, it's tiny. There's some slight scratches and score marks on the housing. If the debris came from the pump. There wasn't much of it, and it would have been very fine. Could have even been the front bearing. Bearing rollers look fine. Yeah. Either way, when this pump died, it put a lot of very, very fine pieces of metal through the injection system. One can only guess that it's off this inside surface here. And again you can't even see it. It's almost it's rough, almost like the veins were sort of chattering their way around it. I don't think it's supposed to be finished like that. Everything else on it's nice and smooth, but it's got these weird ripples on it. Almost like the veins were stuttering and chattering over the surface. Probably a bad batch of fuel, very dry fuel, which is low in lubricating oil. That would definitely do it. I'll be willing to bet that this is the root cause of the problem, especially given the wear on the back plate as well. It's got a big scuff mark on that side. Hmm. I knew it'd be fairly minute if there was a problem. Like it wasn't a handful of debris that came out of this thing. It was only a tiny bit. But given the pressure that it's operating at and the pressure between the uh, low pressure spill return and the actual injection rail pressure, it would not take much debris to do it. I mean, the mechanic who pulled the injectors out couldn't see anything wrong. They sent them to a injector reconditioning company and under a microscope they said that they could see debris from pump failure coming through and destroying the injectors. So that's how fine this damage is going to be. It's not the little silvery bits that I might have wiped off the housing or something. This is minute damage. I mean, in all respects, as an oil pump or something like that, this thing would probably work perfectly fine if I put it back together again. But as a uh, common rail injection pump, all it's going to do is destroy injectors. Now the high pressure side, you can see how they get away with not having to do much high pressure sealing. The high pressure side's right in the core of the pump. And the fuel pressure's fuel's just forced down inside it by these main pump rotors or main, uh, main valves. You can see one on the opposite side. These little, the smaller cylinders that go down inside, these little guys must be uh, little valve pistons, or pump pistons. The big rollers just run around the outside of that housing, but the uh, little guys in here, and these probably little check valves or check balls down inside, are the main little pistons that pump away very small volume but incredibly high pressure. 
Still got me buggered what that is though. I'm guessing that's a uh, pressure transducer since it's right on the high side. It's not, it's not in any position where it could do solenoid work as such. That'll be a transducer, two wire connector. Oh, that thing's surprisingly heavy. Well, now the fun part is uh, cleaning a lot of this excess diesel off and putting it apart so I can take it apart at work and show my friend. He doesn't watch YouTube, so or at least doesn't get time to. So what I'll do is uh, put it together and uh, take it to the take it upstairs to engineering and uh, have a bit of a look at it tomorrow. That's going to be fun. So I hope you enjoy my crude little tear down. I'm not going to pull the high pressure side apart. There's really not much to it. Looks like those screws there will hide uh, check balls or check valves. So there's nothing else that comes off it. This is one cast piece. This doesn't come apart. All you've got is these two springs and these little passages down inside. Yeah, there must be a little... Uh, under the springs must be the check valves. Because there ain't nowhere else for that, to, that um, stuff to go. You can also see wear and tear on that face there. But either way, whatever debris came out of this pump is incredibly minute. Yeah, really interesting. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that. That's part two of the Delphi high pressure injection pump, common rail pump from a Hyundai Terracan CDI. That's a slick bearing. It always did have a bit of a clunk to it. There's definitely debris in that bearing. It must have come from the front. I'd be willing to bet this little pre, this little lift pump. I'm guessing this is a built-in lift pump. This would be the problem. This little guy here wouldn't have anything on that one. That's the main pump. That's the high pressure side. This little guy here is just a lift pump. And I'd be willing to bet if it was run low or dry for an amount of time or just fed lots of really crappy fuel, it wouldn't be very happy. None of it would be. But the lift pump seems to be the first one that's showing scoring and marks on the face of the uh, housing and the uh, rotor itself, even the, well not the rotor itself, but the veins in it. The very edge of the veins is ever so slightly worn back. I might even pop one of them under the microscope. Yeah, if there's anything worth anything worth seeing, I'll add it to the video. If not, well, who knows? All I know is that housing there is awfully chattered up. The surface of it looks like it's been honed. There, you can see honing marks in it, but over that you can see these weird serrations, like chatter marks. I'd be willing to bet that's the problem. That's what's actually ripped very minuscule particles of iron off both the veins and the housing and spat it through the high pressure side of the pump and through the injectors and done all this damage. Interesting. <laughs> Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more.